Which scene in a film disturbed you the most? There's an 80s slash 90s horror movie called, When a Stranger Calls Back. All the spoilers, in the movie, the killer is a ventriloquist who can throw his voice. In the end scene, the protagonist is in a room with the killer, and can hear him but she can't see him. He has painted himself to look like the wall. This scene impacted me for many years. As a single woman living alone, I would walk around my house, trailing my hand along the wall to make sure no one had painted themselves to match my wall. Zodiac. When he's stabbing the couple at Lake Berryessa, the lack of any music while hearing their screams is disturbing. The movie did an accurate job with portraying everything based from the witness slash survivor accounts. There's audio of the boyfriend that survived that stabbing and the 911 operator who spoke to the killer as well as a reading of the mother who was picked up by him and they all say he was calm and well spoken. That alone creeps the fuck out of me. Also one of the last scenes in the basement. I'm sorry but black swan when she has skin at the edge of nail and she pulls it. Fuck. No. I tend to pick at my cuticles when I'm feeling anxious and I felt this scene. There's a scene from the movie The Road where the father and his son discover a room full of chained, naked people waiting to be eaten by the cannibals living in the house and then they run away and they get chased by the cannibals. That scene really traumatized me when I was young. I remember crying so hard when I watched that movie. That was terrifying in the book, I don't think I want to see the film. The scene I always remember the most was when they were hiding in the bathroom and he pulled out his gun with his one bullet and held it to his son's head because he knew that if they were discovered that it was the only thing he could do. Not the most classically disturbing imagery but being a father myself I think about that scene a lot. It was a great film but I would likely not watch it again. The D-Day landing scenes in Saving Private Ryan, especially when they give you some context to the characters in the boat before the landing itself and as soon as the platform drops they all get shot up to pieces. And then the scene showing the soldier walking around with his blown off arm and all the other soldiers in the other boats blown up and getting caught on fire. It's just a super sad movie man and just knowing that people weaned through horrible experiences like this. The scene in the original Pet Cemetery where the old guy gets his Achilles tendon cut from the little kid under the bed I always checked under the bed after that. Yes. 12 years old me saw that movie and that scene was just too much. My parents had a long history of letting my brother and I watch inappropriate movies. My mom let me show Pet Cemetery at my 8th or 9th B-Day party, I had already seen it several times, and two little girls went home crying. The scene in Robocop when Murphy was murdered. I was much more disturbed when Emil was staggering around half melted because of the toxic waste moaning for someone to help him or kill him. End communication. The baby seen in train spotting. My mom has always been great at picking out important details or slight foreshadowing in films and I vividly remember watching this with her for the first time, and shortly before that scene with the characters all in the apartment, but well before you become aware of the baby's death, she looked at me and said oh fuck the baby stopped crying. Still sticks with me. Holy shit I had to scroll way too far to find this. I love that film, but I hate that scene. The scene in The Mummy where the scarabs crawled under the one guy's skin. I saw it when I was about 8 and it traumatized me, I still have nightmares once in a while about it 20 years later. Jesus Christ this scene. I was in the field once collecting insect specimens for a project in uni, I lifted a rock and a bajillion Egyptian grain beetles came spewing out. Just like the scene from The Mummy. Nearly fucking shat myself. I was out of there before they could get under my skin. Scarabs like that are real in my mind. I saw the movie too young and just can't. I believe it was Human Centipede 2. Pregnant woman pretends to be dead, is discarded to the side of the room, waiting for her chance to escape. Goes into labor, obviously can't continue playing dead, screams and runs, is discovered by centipede dude. Manages to get herself into a car as baby pops out, lady smashes baby's head under the pedal as she slams the gas pedal down attempting to escape. 
I don't watch horror movies anymore. Holy fuck that description is gruesome. What, the, fuck? I have never seen or heard this referenced, ever. I hope I never do again. I was about 10 or younger I think when I saw it so I think that's why it stuck with me, but it's the scene from Pan's Labyrinth where the dad just bashes some soldier's face in with a wine bottle. Edit, when I say dad I mean the main girl's father the commander slash psychopathic soldier looking back it wasn't a soldier's face, but the son of father who were out rabbit hunting. Uck, I watched this movie again recently and I still hate that scene. I remember going to Hollywood video and seeing signs disclaiming that this is not a children's movie. Apparently you were not the only kid who saw it and thought it was going to be like the Labyrinth movie with David Bowie and Jennifer Connelly. We were soldiers when they carpet bombed too close and several soldiers caught on fire. Then when they lifted up the guy and his legs peeled. Less graphic but that scene where the two guys are in a foxhole in the dark and one guy mentions being able to smell the enemy, followed by an illumination round being fired over them and you see they are surrounded by NVA was nuts. The movie The Lobster stands out to me. Spoilers slash disturbing slash suicide warning the premise, from what I remember, of the movie is society mandates marriage, if you don't marry you are sent to a hotel, where you have 30 days to meet your spouse. If you don't, you are turned into an animal. First would be when a depressed lady was introduced and tries to get with the main character, cause she only had a few days left to partner up. She mentions she might kill herself if she doesn't but is worried cause her room is only on the third or fourth floor. A few scenes later the main character is having some serious dialogue with a lady who is known for being cruel and heartless, whom he is trying to court. The lady from earlier, at this point, jumps out her window and is visibly bleeding out and screaming in agony just feet away from the two in dialogue. Because he is acting cruel to impress this other lady and she is pretty evil to begin with, they completely ignore what just happened. I kid you not it's like a nearly two minute scene of serious dialogue while this lady is in the background dying in pain. More spoilers, and then later in the movie she kills his dog who is also his brother. Such a disturbingly wacky movie. The movie totally knocks the social commentary out of the park, but it is hard to enjoy. The brave little toaster when the vacuum sucks up his own cord. I will never vacuum over a cord. Same movie for me, but I was a kid, and the scene was the air conditioner's suicide. Or toaster's nightmare. Or the car that willingly kills itself in the junkyard. Final scene of the mist with Thomas Jane. All for nothing. Such a great movie moment. I think I read somewhere that when Stephen King read the script's ending for approval that he said if he wrote the book today it would have the film's ending. This was so horrifying to me at the time because I was so young when I watched it but the last scene in Cannibal Holocaust where the cannibals assaulted and attacked one of the film crew has just stayed with me since. Wasn't there some sort of investigation because the movie seemed too realistic? Fuck man. That movie is as real as it gets. Obviously it's all fake, except when they kill the animals on scene, but it's represented realistically. The eye-sewing shenanigans in Coraline. I agree. Absolutely terrifying. This animated movie has this dark horror gothic tone that didn't fail to give me nightmares the first time I saw it. That movie was the horror movie for kids. I hear the book is even more horrifying. In 7, the guy in the sex club recounting what the murderer made him do with a strap on saw blade. His screaming about what he made him do. That was the worst scene from 7. I went to bed after watching it, and my mind kept revisiting that horrible Polaroid. Incredibly disturbing. What haunts my mind from that scene is the Polaroid. Seeing the knife, imagining what happened, and hearing the poor dude's breath getting so shaky made me actually cry. Event Horizon. The hell recording showing terrible things. 
I don't believe in supernatural stuff but that scene sticks with me. I saw Event Horizon one afternoon in an almost empty theater. There was another lone guy sitting a few rows ahead of me. A couple of times during the movie he turned around and made some comment to me about how scary it was, almost like he needed not to feel alone. He finally got up and left. There is a rumor that there were lots more scenes like that recorded and maybe coming out in a different cut of the movie. Apparently those scenes were just too scary. I hope that happens. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.